So Rockstar Games has been hacked once again. Yes, that is right. The guys over at Rockstar Games on Christmas Day, of all days to leak it on, there was a massive leak regarding Grand Theft Auto V. And not only were there Grand Theft Auto V files, there was also files from Bully 1, but also Bully 2, confirming that Bully 2 was a thing and still might be but there's files to indicate but there was artwork there was potential files here or there uh, but pretty interesting to see that bully 2 was mentioned about i think back in like 2012 2014 was pretty crazy there was also information about red dead redemption but also um the guys over four what were the game was that called was it um Und underground no not underground um bum, 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 bum. midnight that's it midnight club five was also apparently going to be a thing and that was leaked as well so i've been posting a few youtube shorts as of lately kind of talking about what's been kind of revealed and kind of like the big things and i thought i'd do kind of one big video today kind of talking about what we've seen so far so the main thing realistically to talk about is the fact that gta 5 was meant to have i think around six or seven DLCs for the single player. Uh, unfortunately, GTA Online was prioritized and therefore these DLCs completely, completely got dropped, which is a bit shocking to be honest. It's it's kind of annoying that these they get dropped and it's realistically not what we really wanted. Um, but basically there was meant to be eight DLCs, right? So there was gonna be a DLC called Manhunt. Norman, Relationship, Enterprise, Prologue, Assassination, Agent Trevor, and Liberty City. Um, it's pretty bizarre, like, how or why they decided to remove these DLCs. Um, apparently, the, the priority was on GTA Online. Obviously, GTA Online made them a huge amount of money. I think, like, $4.5 billion, which I kind of understand. But, like, I remember playing GTA 4 and, you know, Liberty City Stories. And, you know, like, the DLC of GTA 4 was pretty good. Some people were saying the sales were quite low, hence why GTA 5 really focused on the online aspect side of things. But I still kind of think the size of Rockstar and kind of where they were heading... I kind of felt like it would have been nice for them to at least like give us one DLC and kind of see how it goes. Um, unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Um, a lot of people were curious about the Liberty and obviously like potentially having like GTA 4 kind of styled missions in GTA 5. And that would have been awesome. That would have been an epic DLC. Um, but there was talks of the fact that like some key directors uh, from the guys over at Rockstar Games left in like 2014 or something and uh, I kind of like kind of rocked the boat in some way um, because apparently the Liberty City DLC which a lot of people were like when they first saw this leak was like oh my goodness like we didn't see this like how cool would it have been to maybe potentially play as Roman or go back in the yellow taxi or whatever um, but someone said that the Liberty City DLC must be the reason why we still, still don't have a remastered version of GTA 4. Obviously, we had a remastered version of San Andreas, Vice City, and GTA 3. And obviously, we had that in there, like, special edition. Which we've done a few videos here on the channel. I think Vice City, we've almost completed. And I would definitely like to try and complete that. But, um, and obviously, like, I wouldn't mind going back to San Andreas and GTA 3. Um, but maybe that's why GTA 4 was never going, or why we haven't had a remaster. Because potent potentially, but there was going to be DLC for GTA 5 um, which would have been awesome like don't get me wrong that would have been crazy um, but uh, but no it's, it's definitely interesting how like there was meant there was meant to be like these different DLCs for each of the main characters and each of the characters in GTA 5 and it's just kind of like ah, like I'm I love like don't get me wrong I love single player and I love DLC for single player I just kind of feel like we're now in this kind of era of gaming where like online is the main focus. Like you see with Call of Duty, Call of Duty single player is like three to four hours and we'll be lucky to even have a single player. So we really appreciate that. Um, but the focus now is always multiplayer or like the free online version or like battle royales and all that stuff. And like, I just remember like the good times, like, you know, 10 years ago where single player was the sole reason of buying a game and getting that DLC for $7.99 or whatever it cost was kind of like, like the pinnacle of like the iceberg and stuff. 
Um, but yeah, GTA 5, the, the main thing which people saw about was obviously the DLCs. And uh, there were some old maps of GTA 5. There was some, um, what was it, some beta information and, and all that stuff. Um, but the one thing which, um, which was more interesting was, was Bully. So Bully, we've played on the channel, and I think we've almost finished it, and I wouldn't mind completing that as well. So let me know in the comments, but definitely like to kind of replay Vice City as well as, um, what was it, Bully. Um, but for example, with Bully, so we had like the Bully 2 uh, project name, uh, which supposedly was going to be called Jimmy. <laughs> I mean, Jimmy was the main character for Bully. Uh, and then we had a series of Bully 2 files. So Bully 2 was in the works. Like, they were actually building and designing Bully 2. They also had, we also had some Bully 2 screenshots as well, um, which it, it, for me, it's one of those things where it's just like, ah, like it would have been, would have been amazing. I mean, yes, we had like a Jimmy folder, we had uh, shoulder limits, apparently. We had all these like, images of these potential Bully characters. Um, there was going to be a potential map of Bully. And Bully was quite big in its own. Um, but we, we kind of know that with Bully and when it came out and the idea of being a school kid and beating up people, you know, especially in the UK, I think there was talks of it being banned. And I know GTA is shooting people and doing hardcore stuff um but it would be so good to see bully 2 um apparently there was also as well that bully 2 was um yeah like there was in this software called rage um and so yeah bully 2 was in the works like genuinely it kind of annoys me that bully 2 was in the works and never finished um but it would be awesome to kind of see you know if bully could come um but we got some concepts of like the map uh, some of the characters and what they look like and i don't know i mean realistically buddy 2 would be like i guess jimmy in university right um so that was cool and then they also had some information on such as um what was it there was, apparently there was going to be like a gta tokyo version on the ps2 which was wild like the fact that there was going to be a new, a new GTA game for Tokyo. Well, it's going to be called Grand Theft Auto Tokyo, and it was going to be designed for the PS2. And obviously, Vice City and GTA 3 were designed for the PS2, so Tokyo could have been an option. Um, but that was also interesting. And then the other thing as well, like I said, we had um, some information um, regarding uh, what was it? Number five, wasn't it? Number five. Uh, Midnight Club, right? So with Midnight Club, we had some information about it being mentioned in some files, um, but also we had an image of some degree. So we had um, Midnight Club 5 with like a picture of a car, and then we also had, um, what was it, some files around Midnight Club. So, so yeah, once again, it was one of those things where a game people wanted never came out. Um, so we have that kind of information so far. It's been it's pretty interesting. Um, some people are saying here that the reason why GTA and let's just go back to GTA Five side of things, right? Um, and we'll just finish off here. Is that the GTA Five single player expansions may have been cancelled due to Leslie uh, leaving Rockstar back in 2014? Um, according to sources in 2014, Leslie, one of the most important producers at Rockstar, um, got into a huge disagreement. Uh, due to Leslie's desires focused on more on online titles solely over single player for the future of Rockstar. Proof of this is what Benzie is currently making, an online Fortnite platinum... T oh, okay, so she's already crea she's creating a game. The disagreement reached a breaking point, resulting in Leslie leaving the company in mid-2014. Alongside him, a large number of developers who are working on the GTA 5 expansions left the company alongside him, pausing the work on the DLCs and definitely uh, as Rockstar got to hiring new devs and training them to work with Rage. During the time, GTA Online team was making great progress on their work and seeing huge success, so Rockstar decided to lend them more resources to build that GTA Online, which ultimately paid off for them hugely. By late 2015, the dream of GTA 5 story expansion has died as the houses decided to shift all their focus to Red Dead Redemption 2. By 2016, a Liberty City expansion, the GTA 5 slash GTA Online, had been prototyped but ultimately got cancelled as Red Dead Redemption 2 get growing in scale, adding a new Austin very late in development and expanding the game's insane scope even further. The scope of Red Dead Redemption got so large that every single Rockstar studio fully dedicated themselves 
to Red Dead Redemption 2, placing Bully 2 and all other ideas on ice until further notice. So that could also be a thing. That could also be a thing, but there was someone who mainly wanted to work on online and then basically was like, no, you're working with single player. So that person left, made their own company and then basically brought a lot of old developers to him to build a new game and all that stuff because the bat person's making a game called uh, Everywhere. And I don't know if Everywhere... Um, Everywhere game is... Da -da -da. Yeah, it is. You go to everywhere, everywhere game, and that's the person who's building it. It's an online-only game. So, yeah, what are your thoughts, guys? Please let me know. Pretty insane. Um, but, uh, but no, it's all over Twitter. The more information I have or the more exciting stuff, I'll definitely share with you. Uh, right now, just a quick recap. There was going to be eight DLCs for GTA V. Bully 2 was mentioned. We also had Midnight Club 5 mentioned as well. Um and uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty crazy. Yeah, and GTA Tokyo. Interesting, interesting. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, then be sure to give that video a massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, comment what's regarding this. But anyway, you guys, thank you guys for watching. And as was in my next video, adios, chaps. Boom.